Nations, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to share this video with you guys today. As you can tell by the title and my head, I shaved my head. Um, I probably look pretty different from the last time that you saw me. And that was because last time you saw me, my hair was down to my ass. And that was about a year ago today now. I initially shaved my head at the end of June of 2020. So it has been a long while since I have seen you guys and since I have updated you on my current style that I'm rocking. So I just thought I would make this video. This is my second video back now since I have returned to YouTube and I am just so excited to be back and finally be back talking to you guys and just making content. And I'm so excited to update you on this big change in my life. So without further ado, let's get into the story. <laughs> I guess we should start with my spirituality. So I have been doing a lot of research and practicing recently a lot of spirituality work. I'm trying to be sensitive talking about this because I know that there is a lot of cultural appropriation inside of the spiritual community and I do not want to contribute to that at all. I definitely want you guys to let me know if I am doing anything that is wrong or if I'm saying anything that is inappropriate. I just want you guys to know that I am always, always, always open to correction. Please let me know and correct me so that I can correct myself and so that I can grow as a person. We can grow together, you know? That is what this is all about. So anyway, with that being said, my spiritual journey has been very much about energy, controlling your own energy, controlling the energy around you in your environment. And that is a lot of what I focus on. I feel like energy is the biggest component, obviously, in the whole universe and within my spiritual practice. So doing this big life change of shaving my head, I wanted to incorporate some spiritual techniques and practices that I thought would help me to expel any negative energy that I wanted to get rid of for this chapter, as well as bring in the new energy that I'm trying to attract. I wanted to incorporate crystal healing as well as herb burning in my ritual that I did. And the other thing about this experience is that I knew that I needed to do it in a safe space. I knew, knew that I needed to be completely grounded and completely connected to be able to release this huge burden. So. I need to do that in nature. That is my safe space. That is my home. That is where I'm meant to be, in nature. And that is exactly where I went to complete this beautiful, beautiful journey. So I decided to go on a camping trip. So I decided to go to a metaphysical shop, which is a shop where you can buy crystals, herbs, and many other things that help you in spiritual practices. I decided to get a crystal and I just used my intuition to feel out which one I was feeling drawn to or called to. And I ended up choosing an orange calcite crystal. And it was really funny because she gave me the description of the crystal after I chose it and the description was just literally exactly what I needed. <laughs> and then she also told me about some herbs that she thought would be helpful, so I ended up getting two herb bundles. One was juniper, which is supposed to dispel negative energy. And the other was a bundle of rosemary, which is supposed to attract the good energy. After that, uh, we talked a little bit and she kind of read my energy and I asked her what else she was feeling that I needed to do um, for the ritual. And she said that she was feeling a lot of water energy and I was like, oh my God, girl, yes, I'm a Pisces, so. <laughs> and I just so happened to be going camping by a lake. So it was just absolutely perfect. She told me that. She told me to collect some water from the lake and use it after I shave my head to just kind of cleanse the area and to get anything, any leftover stagnant energy just cleared away. So, got all of my supplies and I planned my camping trip to go to a place called Lake Moomaw which is in Virginia, almost to West Virginia, kind of right by the border. Look at that beauty. just an absolutely beautiful place. I cannot even explain to you how 
how beautiful this place is. It is completely surrounded by mountains. No matter where you're looking at it from, you're completely surrounded by mountains. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I cannot wait to travel more. recommend to check this place out if you are anywhere near the area or if you're going to be near the area it is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful and the other thing that's really cool about it is that it's a lake so there are beaches around it and there's a really really nice beach near the campsite and Luna really enjoyed the water there it was so good because I had just taken her to the beach a couple weeks before I went on this camping trip and she did not like the beach <laughs> because the ocean has waves, obviously. Waves are scary, waves attack you, waves come at you, and she did not enjoy that, not one bit. So, um, she was very pleased when we got to the lake and it was just very calm water that she could just walk right into. It wasn't attacking her or anything. She did get a little startled when the boats would go by and they'd make a wake that would come in as waves, but other than that, she was fine. It's okay, dude. It's all good. <laughs> she absolutely loved it, and she actually did a little bit of swimming. It was so cute. That was the first time she's really swam. It was just absolutely perfect at that lake because it was just the perfect no waves attacking her and the perfect incline, and it was like crystal clear so you could see the bottom. Ah! <laughs> it was absolutely perfect. Perfect conditions for my tuna bear to get some good swimmings in. So, like any camping trip, you set up your campsite. And then that first night is when I did my ritual and I cut my hair off. First, do our ritual. So, as you can see, I am just putting my intention into the crystal, really trying to put into it what I want to come about from this experience. You know, like I said, it was really important to me to try and start a new chapter with this experience. So scared of me. So the description said that the crystal balanced emotions, removed fear and overcomes depression, dissolves problems and maximizes potential, and reminds you to embrace your own abilities. And all of these were so, so important to me at this time. I just really, really needed that crystal at that time to just get me in the right mindset. So I guess I could give you another uh, a reason why now. So one of my whys is because your hair holds a lot of different energy. So it can hold a lot of energy from the past, any past emotions, trauma, hormones, etc. Any of that kind of stuff, your hair can absolutely hold that energy. And that energy is signifying a chapter, that chapter that you had that growing there with you. and. I really wanted to cut that all off. I really needed to get rid of that chapter in my life and just completely start new. So that was something very um, important to me when I was researching this, really trying to channel that energy of getting rid of any of the past you know, karmic ties or trauma that I've had before I cut my hair. You know, I've been through a lot in my life and I really wanted to take this time to really focus on lifting some of that burden, like I said before. That was a really, really strong reason as well. So working with that crystal, putting that intention in. Also working with the herbs to 
just clear any negative energy that I may have been feeling, any doubts that I may have been having, and really just getting rid of anything that was no longer serving me in my life. And obviously that is a, a frequent practice, you know? You gotta do that very frequently in your life. Focus your energy on the things that are serving you and the things that are making you happy. That is something that's really, really important in life, you know? So working with those herbs, really getting that energy right. And then finally, finally, I was ready to make the big cut. my old videos you've probably seen the infamous braid I wore that braid for so long it was my favorite way to wear my hair because it was just so concise keeping it away from me keeping it as controlled as possible that was my favorite way to wear it this baby is about to go bye bye <laughs> you know I I feel like I really for a long time just had long hair because humans who look like me have that type of hair most of the time and just exploring my sexuality and my gender identity i really started to question whether that was something that actually resonated with me and my individual vision of myself or if that was just something that I was just carrying with me because it was perceived as normal or it was perceived as what I should be doing or what I should have. So I really just took a look at that and it really took as much as that thought to realize that no, this that wasn't really something that actually resonated with me. That wasn't something that actually made me happy. Like I never really dyed my hair. I never really cut it too much. Like. I always just had that one style, I feel like, for a really long time, and I'm just so happy that I took the leap, as you will see me do now, taking this big leap of getting that giant chunk finally cut all the way through, <laughs> and freedom. What do I do? Oh no. Mm. Now for the buzz, bitches. I'm sick of her. <laughs> Look at her. Cute. This new chapter in my life will bring positivity and light. Yes. Hey. <laughs> break for the night because I can't see and I don't really know how to use a buzzer jaunt so <laughs> but I am living my full dyke fucking fantasy right now um excited to be even more of an androgynous queen my hair is gonna be so nice look how thick it is and it's very easy to style oh my god I'm so excited this is gonna be sexy bitches are gonna be I'm really excited. I'm glad that I did this. I was really nervous when I was doing it and when I was about to do it, but now that it's almost done, um, <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I am. Um, I'm proud that I took, took that leap and I think it's going to be really fucking cute when it's right, you know, obviously. Um, and like I was saying in my ritual, this is going to bring a lot of positivity and light to my life and I'm really excited for this new chapter and <laughs> yeah, um, Dyke Kenzie signing off. <laughs> And I 
finish this bitch up, shall we? I don't really know how this thing works, honestly. But we're just gonna go for it. shoulders. I am so, so, so grateful that I had the courage to do this and I highly, highly recommend taking this leap if you are any, any bit interested in doing this because it's just hair, it grows back and it's, it's really powerful if you are up to it. And it has just been amazing. I mean, the maintenance of this, obviously, there's really none, but my hair does grow very fast, so I do shave it every weekend, usually. So that's something that people are like, wow, you shave your head every weekend. I'm like, yeah, but I shave it myself. Like, it's not like I go and get a haircut every weekend. Like, it's just very easy. Obviously, I don't have to do much in the morning. I also just love how it makes me feel. I feel so me in it. It's, it just literally makes me feel like myself. And I'm just so excited to work on my personal image more. I'm excited to get some tattoos. There's this girl I follow on Twitter. I will put her up right here, some pictures of her because I absolutely love her look. Her tattoos on her head are so beautiful and I would love to get some work done like that. So yeah, I'm just really excited for my future and I'm really excited to have shared this story with you guys. 
and I really hope you enjoy the story of why I shaved my head. I guess I kind of touched on this, but not 100%. The biggest reason, I guess, is probably my sexuality and gender identity. You know, I feel very androgynous, and I'm also pansexual, and I don't know, it's just, it's very, like I said, it's very me. It just feels very me, it feels ge very gender fluid, and free. So I'm just very, very grateful that I did this. I think that is it, everybody. So seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you so, so, so much for watching this if you took the time to watch this because this was such a transformative experience in my life. And obviously that was the start of a very big chapter in my life. And I'm just so grateful to be able to share this with you guys. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this story and this little experience. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments below and also hit that subscribe button and that little bell if you would like to be notified for any new videos that I may post. I'm really excited to be back on YouTube and I'm really excited to continue to share my story with you guys. Been too long. It's been too long. I don't know why I'm so hard on myself. If you're seeing this, this might be for you. Stop being so hard on yourself. You got this. Like, you got this. Literally, you got this. Like, you know what you're doing. Just go out and do it. Stop planning. Just do. You got this. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye. You want to make an appearance? Hmm? This is my tuna bear. I'll give her a little sneak peek. I'll do a video introducing her because she's my baby. If you'd like more of us, follow, subscribe, like, share, comment. Love you. See ya.